fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, and I love stuff. And one of the kinds of stuff that I love is Beanie Babies. So I went to a flea market this past weekend, and I want to show you the super cool, at least I think they're super cool, Beanie Babies that I picked up at really great deals. And then at the end, I'm also going to show you some Christmas ornaments that I picked up because I also love Christmas stuff. So the first booth I went to, they only wanted $2 each for Beanie Babies. So I did pick up a few I don't have, and I did pick up two duplicates. So the first guy I got was this Kirby, the little Christmas dog. Uh, I already have this guy, but the lady was super nice, and she only wanted $2 each. So she said, don't you want to get five for 10? And I was like, why not? So I did get an extra Kirby. Um, I picked up this Trix. I want to say the one that I have doesn't have a tag. So I was like, this may be a duplicate, but it's a better quality than the one I had. So I did grab that one as well. And then I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. This is Roxy the Reindeer. I know I have two of this in green, but I don't think I have the brown one. It's got a sticker on it. Get that off. So for $2.00. Had to grab that one. And then this is Nibbler the bunny. Super cute. I don't think I have this one either, so had to get that. Sometimes it's hard to remember if you have something or not. I do have a really good memory for weird things though, so I usually know whether or not I've got it. Um, this is Eggs 2008. So this is a Beanie Baby 2.0 bear, and it's got a little Easter egg on it. I know I don't have that one. So for $2 each, I had to get those guys. The next booth that I went to wanted two for $5 Beanie Babies or $3 for one. So of course I was going to get two for five because then it's two fifty dollars each and I get to save some money and get more Beanie Babies. So the first guy I had to have was this Zodiac dog. Uh, I have a couple of the Zodiac Beanie Babies. I kind of want to get the complete set. But I did not have the dog yet, so I was super happy to find him at a great deal. The next one I had to pick up was this cute little pink poodle. Uh, her name is Pup in Love. She's even got this little I love you dog toy in her mouth. Super cute. She's got on a nice little tag protector on her tag. I don't have this one, so definitely had to get that. I did grab a couple of Attic Treasures. Uh, I needed an extra to complete my sets of two for five, so even though this guy was missing his tag, I still thought he was really cool. I love this little coat that he has on. Uh, I hate that the, the attic treasures don't tell their names on the tush tags, because then when they're missing their hang tags, you can only figure out their names if you search the internet, but he's super cute, so I was willing to buy him with no tag to get another deal. The next one I had to get was this Ariel Bear. She's blue. She's got flowers on her stomach. Very pretty. I don't have that one. I think it'll look good sitting with all my Easter plush. Here we have another attic treasure. This is Franny. So definitely going to put her with all my patriotic Beanie Babies and let her share the shelf with them. This is Fairbanks. This guy is so cute. He's like black and white and fluffy and he's got this little sweater. Like he looks like his name should be Fairbanks. Like he probably has a lake house. He's just so cute. So had to grab that guy. The next attic treasure I had to grab was this little guy. His name is Bear Cart and he's also got a super cute little sweater on. There's a lot of size differences in Attic Treasure sometimes, though. Look how big that bear is next to that bear. Like, I don't know why they change so much, but I, I like the Attic Treasures almost as much as I like the Beanie Babies. I like all the tie stuff equally. It's just tie everything. That's what I collect. And the last thing I got at the two for five dollar booth was this whale. And he's not a tie, but he's a Coca-Cola beanbag plush. And I do collect these as well because I love Coca-Cola stuff and I have a lot of Coca-Cola stuff. So they make these little animals and they all have a little Coca-Cola in their hand. I didn't have the whale, so I did have to grab him even though he's not a tie. The next booth where I found Beanie Babies, they wanted three for $10. So approximately $3.33 each. 
and they had a couple of buddies and they were the same price as the little ones so I did get some buddies um, I picked up this large monster and this is Maxine so I've already filmed all my monsters but she'll be joining them on the shelf the next buddy I picked up was this Malibu Flippables cat. Super pretty, super shiny, pink to silver, black to gold. I like the Flippables. They're not snuggly, but they look great on a shelf. So definitely had to pick that one up. The next Beanie Buddy I had to pick up was this, well, I think this is more of a Pillow Pal than a Beanie Buddy, but I don't have this one, so I had to have it. It's just a pink and green zebra. It's missing its hang tag, but $3.33 for a large Thai stuffed animal. I can't pass that up when it's one I actually don't have. The next guy I got is this April birthday bear. I have several of the birthday bears. I'm trying to complete my collection, but I like finding them in the wild rather than ordering them online if I don't have to. So had to grab the April bear because I don't have it yet. This one is the 2004 holiday teddy got a tag protector on. Pretty plain for a Christmas bear, but also super adorable. Just white and fluffy, simple little red bow, a green threaded nose. Christmas is my favorite holiday, so had to have that. Uh, this one is Woody the bear. He is missing his tag, but I needed one last bear to complete my sets of three, so had to pick him up. He's got this little plaid bow. He's pretty cute. Next we have this very pretty little dog. His name is Amigo. He is so cute. He's got little eyebrows. He's brown and gold. Super cute. You know who else is cute? Come here, baby. Come here. You want to be in the video? And this is Miko. And Miko thinks he is really, really cute. He thinks he could compete with Amigo for cutest little dog. Don't you? Yes. He doesn't like that I make videos and ignore him for a minute. So, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is Grunt. I don't have Grunt, so I was really happy to find this. I really wish he had his tag, but either way, I like being able to get one of the original floppy beanie babies from back in the day that I actually don't have already. So I was happy to get that little guy. And I did find two Halloween guys. I got this Little Al, his name is Boo Hoo. How cute is that? Um, and his little belly does say Boo Hoo all over it. And he's just super cute, orange and black. He's missing his tag, but he's a Halloween owl. He's super cute, had to have him. And I was pretty excited to find this witch. Her name is Scary. And yes, she is a Beanie Baby, believe it or not. She doesn't look very Beanie Baby-ish, but she is. Uh, I think my mom used to have this one. I don't know what happened to it. So I was really excited to find her on sale and get to get her cheap to add to my collection. She has so much character. This pink stringy hair and the rainbow strings on the back of her hat. She's got a shiny little cape. She's a super cute gal. Had to add her to my Beanie Baby room. <laughs> The next booth where I bought something Beanie Baby related, they had these Beanie Baby magazines. And this is Mary Beth's Beanie World. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen these magazines from the 90s. This is the December 1998 Christmas issue. I had to have this. They only wanted $3 for it. I thought it was really cool. Something different to put in my Beanie Baby room. I'm thinking maybe I can make a video and we can go through it and look at it and I can show everybody what's inside. But what was really great was when I went to pay for it, the lady was like, wasn't there other Beanie Baby stuff over there? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, let me get it for you. So she gave me this Beanie Collector magazine with Ty Warner on the cover, which I've never read, never seen. So I thought that was super cool. And she also gave me this little Beanie Baby Collector Pocket Guide. It's from 2000. So it's cute. It like folds out and you can check out the Beanie Babies. Uh, yeah, but she gave me those two things for free just because I was buying this Beanie Baby magazine. And I guess nobody at the flea market was interested in Beanie Babies but me. So she just wanted to get rid of it. So that was super exciting. I was really happy. Like I said, I might make another video where I just go through those magazines and stuff and show you what's inside because I think that's pretty awesome. And then I went to Cracker Barrel 
and I found the Peace 2 Bear, which I was super excited about because I don't have this one yet. Um, I got all the Wave 1 beanies from the new set of the second edition of Beanie Babies, I guess you call them. And I got the second set. I got the second wave of beanies too, but I ordered them from another country, so I did not get the USA edition Peace Bear, but I found him a Cracker Barrel. I was super excited. I think he's really cute. He's yellow. He's got a little rainbow bow. His little peace sign is rainbow colored. Super glad to have found this guy out in the wild. So if you're looking for the 30th anniversary second edition Beanie Babies, you might look at a Cracker Barrel if there's one near you. The last thing I'm going to show you is a bag of Beanie Babies that I found misplaced in my basement the other day, and so I figured I'd show you those couple of guys before they get added to the shelves. The first guy we have is Stretch, the Beanie Buddy. I know when I made my video the other day, I said I thought I had a second one, and I figured it out. He was hiding in the basement, but now he's in the room where he's supposed to be. And then we have this super cute little Valentine's giraffe. His name is Smoothie. He's adorable. He's covered in hearts, like... I love that guy. He's so cute. And then we have a hedgehog beanie ball. This is Hazel. Gotta love the hedgehogs. Um, next we have, I guess, a beanie buddy. Um, he is missing his hang tag. He does have a $3 price tag from the thrift store, but he's just a super cute little monkey. He's fluffy. He does say Thai. He is a Thai plush, but I don't have this one, so I had to pick him up. Oh, look, he's got Velcro on his hands, so you could... You could hang him from something and let him just hang around. I love it. The next guy we have in here is Lawrence. I know, I think he was in my Attic Treasure video and I said I thought I had another one and I figured out where he was hiding in the bag in the basement that needed to come back to this room. Here we have Donkey from Shrek. I think this might be, I'm not sure if this is the one that came free with the movies back in the day when the Shrek uh, Christmas movie came out. And I've got the, I've got the Puss in Boots, and then I've got the Gingerbread Man. Now I found the donkey. He's missing his tag, but that's okay. The only one I haven't found yet is Shrek. So hopefully I find him soon, just so I can have the complete Shrek Beanie Baby collection. And the last guy that I found hiding in the basement is Barrington. Check out those legs. He's got like very long legs. He's pretty tall. I guess he's the buddy size of an attic treasure. He's got a lot of character to him. He's got the classic brown attic treasure tag, which I love seeing. It's very nostalgic to me. I like his plaid bow. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna show you the Christmas ornaments that I bought. So if you've seen any of my videos before, you probably heard me say I love Christmas and I like doing multiple Christmas trees. And one of the kinds of Christmas trees that I do is a Coca-Cola tree. So the last booth I went to, this lady had Coca-Cola ornaments for $2 each. So I had to get some. Another tree I do is a Disney tree. So when they said the Disney ornaments were $3 each, I had to grab some of them as well. I got this plush Donald Duck. This adorable, looks like he's caroling, singing a song, little Pluto. This super cool detailed Donald Duck sitting on a log and holding a candle. And the last ornament I had to have was this super cool, very detailed Mickey Mouse. He's got presents. He's got a little top hat. This guy was too cool. $3 each. I could not say no. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe and come back for more because I'm always getting more Beanie Babies and more plush friends to add to my collections. And until next time, bye.